North Korea's revered founder, Kim Il-sung, ordered his doctors to find a way to make him live to 100. Taking treatments to stay young that ranged from the bizarre to the sinister. Kim so yun his personal physician for many years before she defected to South Korea in 1992. Led research at a longevity center, set up to help in Kim's quest for a longer life. It didn't work, he died at 82, but that's still far better than the average 64-year life expectancy for the country. The doctor's team devised many different ways to ensure a longer life. We did a lot of research, says Kim, but we only gave him the treatments he had chosen from our list of options. One treatment the late leader favored in his later years, according to Kim, was blood transfusions from citizens in their 20s. Those who had been chosen for the honor of donating blood to the eternal president were fed special nutritious food beforehand. He wanted to rule as long as he could. I think he wanted to live a long life for his own satisfaction, says Kim. Another favorite, according to Kim, was watching young children do funny or cute things to make him laugh. The center decided happiness brings good health, so prescribed more laughter to the North Korean leader. Kim is seen smiling in many official photos. After witnessing the stresses and health issues experienced by Kim, the doctor says Kim Jong-un, the country's current leader, and Kim's grandson, could be suffering from similar problems. Before his disappearance, Kim was seen limping, prompting theories that he was suffering everything from weight gain to gout. According to the doctor, the young leader may have inherited a number of health issues, including psychological problems and a history of obesity. Kim Il-sung still has a good reputation because he was the founder of the country. So in order to instill in people that it is still Kim Il-sung's country, I think they are trying to make Kim Jong-un look like more like him.